Wouldn't it be amazing if we could have different font types, sizes, and colors on the same line? Well, you might think that must be straightforward. However, it's not possible unless you work with multiple text boxes, which is not ideal. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how. All right, here I have that visualization without that dynamic title integrated. So that's going to be our starting point. Let's select it and let's go to the formatting pane. Here for the title, and we can, for example, say, this is my total sales. And then for the subtitle, let's turn it on. I want to make dynamic so that it shows information about the selected product. We just have to click there on the conditional formatting button. And here we can say that the field value is then the measure that we just wrote. Now at the moment, it doesn't show anything because none of the products has been selected. But if I select over here one of the products, you see we have all of that information showing in one line, but I want to have it split over multiple lines. Okay, now you will see that we have here that sub title split over multiple lines. Let's go to formatting and then here the subtitle I want to have on the right hand side. Now the trick, I'm going to use the subtitle for the title and title for the subtitle and you will see why. Let's go back again to the formatting options for the chart and I want to have the subtitle showing the title. And over here, we're gonna go for the same formatting options as for the normal title. Okay, and then we put it here on the left hand side and make it non curve cursive. And now we go to the title, which I want to make my subtitle. Now you will see when I make my selection, we see the product info, but again, on one line. So if I go back to the title and here I turn text web off, only then it gets split over multiple lines. To get it at the same level, what we do is we go back to a measure and here we can push our text for the subtitle a little bit down with the new line variable. And then here, right in front of it, we need to put an extra space, something that looks like an empty character. So I usually just Google it quickly. And now it does get pushed down and we have the total sales more or less at the same height as that product information. We have to do a little bit of adjustment can say, okay, how much space do we want to have below the title, below the subtitle? The main title goes up and we can make it perfectly aligned with the product information that shows on the right hand side. Now let's test what we have so far. So I'm gonna click here on one of the products and you see it nicely updates that line chart right next to it. Perfect. But you also see with this one, for example, that that well, marker that we have there at the top kind of gets cut. Okay, now this is generally a problem that Microsoft wasn't able to solve just yet. However, what we can do is also here use a little bit of conditional formatting to make sure that that doesn't happen. And also to make sure that uh, there's no line that goes underneath or over our subtitle there.